For my second year record production and theory and practice module, I decided to opt for the revised assessment option that required a song to be produced completely from home. I decided that it would be good to work with a group of musicians that I was already comfortable with, um, especially since we hadn't had the chance to play live or in a rehearsal for a little while. The song that I went on to record, Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke, is one that we had already tried a couple of times before lockdown restrictions were implemented. I thought it would be an appropriate choice and was representative of the struggles that everyone seemed to be facing. My first task was to revisit my own arrangement of the song and issue out parts for the musicians to follow. I decided that it would be a good idea to remove moments of ryth rhythmic interpretation, such as for martyrs, so that each person then had a structured part to follow. It was at this point that I decided that it would be a good idea to bro broaden the sound even further by getting another six musicians in, such as cellist and fellow student Adam Lynch. Once I'd done this, I sent all the parts out to all the 50 musicians for them to learn and record. Each musician had a guide track, which I produced using basic MIDI software, uh, including exporting the score from Sibelius into Logic. This helped each musician to stay in time and made my task of slotting each part together much easier. I didn't want to over overcomplicate or panic musicians, um, especially those who didn't have any sophisticated recording software. I wanted musicianship to take precedent over sound quality and so instructed people to just use their phones or laptops to record. Once everybody had sent their parts back, the track came together pretty quickly. I didn't want to go too overboard with the mix as I felt as though it would take away from the sentiment of the track and the personality that was instilled in each video that I had sent to me. A lot of my process involved corrective mixing. There was the odd stray note which I had to nudge in line, for example. Following that, I used basic EQ, compression and reverb settings from the Chris Lord Orge series of plugins that really helped to give some much needed consistency into the track. As well as being created for my university submission, the band involved, the Duke Jam, went on to upload the song online, using all the videos as part of the experience. I was really proud to see the song draw in over 70,000 online views and get played on local radio stations such as BBC Radio Stoke and Signal 1.